Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I take this basic car interior photo and turn it into this photo. Now, any of you who have used Photoshop or Lightroom are gonna know right away what's happening here. And yeah, we are gonna do a sky replacement because I've unfortunately blown out the windows on this one. So follow me through this edit. I'm gonna take you step by step through my car interior editing process and I hope that you guys can pick up something along the way. Uh, so let's just dive right in. All right guys, so starting right at the top, we're just gonna check how much highlights we have alive. And unfortunately, we don't actually have that many highlights alive. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to take my highlights and blow them out just a little bit more to make sure that this crease that's right here actually doesn't show up because when I posted this on Instagram, someone called that out and I really appreciate you guys critiquing constructively because constructive criticism always helps. Then we're gonna take our shadows and we are gonna hold option and we're gonna make sure that we've got all our shadows protected. Go into our whites, make sure that we've got those popping and I'm actually gonna bring the shadows down a touch, hold option and bring our blacks down so that just the parts we don't really wanna see are gone. Add a little bit of contrast so that we've got a nice kind of feeling interior of the cockpit. I also like to add a touch of dehaze. Dehaze and contrast are pretty similar, um, but you'll see that it just kind of adds a little bit there. And of course, I'm just gonna go back to my blacks, make sure we're not crushing too much detail, holding option. Now here, I'm gonna take my vibrance, put it up a little bit, and my saturation, I'm just gonna pull that down until I feel the photo's a little bit, I don't know, it just looks a little bit badass. Then from here, we're gonna go on to our tone curve. I'm not gonna do too much in here, but just make sure that the steering wheel's popping off. The mid-tones are looking good and then just add that contrast back into the bottom there. We're not gonna add any fade or anything too much at this point. Now here's a quick tip for anyone who wants to get into the Canon, you know, the new R5 or R6 series. I found that a lot of the purples and magentas are actually invading kind of the red space. So you'll see here, specifically in the seat and the steering wheel, that the purples are actually kind of gonna change the color. And the magenta specifically, you can see, are pretty heavy. Now the seat in real life is actually just red. So you'll see that I'm actually gonna have to bring back the magenta to the red side. And then just depending on how much I want to adjust that, I'll go in and desaturate or saturate those. I'm gonna bring the saturation back in the red. And then I'm gonna go into my luminance and make sure that these are nice and bright and popping off the screen. And again, you can even see here in the shifter knob, if you hold shift and drag, you can kind of zoom into a specific spot and we're still getting quite a bit of purples in the red there. So I'm just gonna drag this around and see if we can fix that. If not, it's all good. So next I'm gonna go into my color grading panel. If you've seen any of my tutorials before, you know I like 220 in the shadows. I add 10 to the saturation. Then I go to my mid-tones, add a touch of luminance into the mid-tones, and you'll see that just adds a nice little pop. So I just add a little bit there. Go into my highlights, we add 35 into the hue, 10 into the saturation. And then from there, we get to add blending, which I generally like. And we're gonna bring our balance to the warm side because we know that later on we're gonna be replacing the sky. So we're just gonna help bring that color balance adjustment. Now I'm not gonna add any additional sharpening, but I am gonna hold option and drag my masking just till I have kind of the edges are sharpened. And that looks good there. We'll add a little bit of noise reduction. From here, we're gonna remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. And that really does brighten up the image. A lot of the time that brings away the vignetting that you'll get naturally from your camera. So let's go back into our blacks, make sure we're happy with where those are sitting and that our contrast is where we want it to be. All right, so that's a really good start. We've brought out a lot of the details in the interior of the car. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna send it over to Photoshop. So you can hit Command E and that's gonna actually send it over to Photoshop. All right, so we are in Photoshop here and we're not actually gonna do too much. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna remove the tag that is in the windshield and then from there, we're gonna replace the sky. Now, there's gonna be a lot of people that will call you out on this in Photoshop with the sky replacement because they only have so many skies so far in there. Don't worry about it, guys. It's just a really cool tool that you guys can mess around with and I'm sure they'll bring us a few more skies in the future or we can find ways to upload your own. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna hit J and that's gonna bring us our spot removal tool. We're just gonna drag over this guy here, bringing the, the dealership tag away. 
and that should do a pretty good job naturally. Yeah, there it goes. Then from here, we're just gonna go up to edit and we are gonna go down to sky replacement. From here, it's gonna bring up a panel and you can see there, it already has the sky that I used previously. So we're gonna use this shift edge tool just to make sure that it's sitting naturally. And again, just work with the fade edge tool just to make sure that it's working for your car. Now over here in the mirrors, it's kind of looking a bit odd. So I wanna make sure that that looks normal. There we go. And it's okay, it looks a little bit flat. So we're just gonna work with that in a little bit here. Um, adjusting the brightness. Yeah, we'll bring it up a touch and the scale's good. Now this is what's cool, lighting adjustment. We can actually light the rest of our photo based on what we're seeing here. And again, color adjustment. This is gonna adjust the original photo to match with your sky. So if you drag that up farther, you can see that the cockpit or interior of the car is actually gonna to start to align with the colors that are in that sky. If I bring it to zero, it's gonna be the natural colors that I had in Lightroom. And if I bring it up higher, it's gonna adjust the cockpit temperatures, which is pretty cool. I kinda of like it. So we're just gonna double check to make sure all is well here. It looks pretty good. Not super upset with anything. We're gonna hit okay and it's gonna output it to a new layer into a folder. So here you can see the before and after the sky replacement looks pretty cool. So we're not gonna do anything else here in Photoshop. So command S will save the photo back to our original folder and then hopefully it'll show up in Lightroom for us. All right, so here we have it. It is back in Lightroom and all we're gonna do is just kind of our final touches. I think I'm actually just gonna warm this photo up a little bit because it just kind of sits a little bit blue uh, as it stands. And I think I'm gonna add a touch more contrast to the image. It's just feeling a bit faded. The sky is where we want it. We have all the correct details, the right amount of contrast. Maybe add a touch more pop here in the midtones using our curves. And then from here, we can add some filters. So what I'm gonna do is actually just drag a filter from the bottom because we're just gonna take away attention from what is my coffee mug down there. And that might be a bit much. So we're gonna take that back and add a radio filter over our steering wheel. Now this is just an additional touch. You don't have to do any of this stuff. And it's a bit saturated in the reds. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's a bit saturated. So I'm just gonna dial that back a little bit. And we know that the purples are sitting in there too. So we're just gonna be careful with those. So there you go guys. There's a quick before and after, after bringing it back from Photoshop. But it's actually really not too difficult to bring a photo like this into a photo like this. Now, a quick tip here, guys. A lot of you guys ask what my export settings are for Instagram. So the way I personally would export this, a lot of people do a crop and I'm actually not going to crop for Instagram. I think people do this, the four by five. I don't need to do that. The reason that I don't do that is because when you go into Instagram, you can actually just crop it to however you want. And then additionally, when you wanna go post this photo to say your Instagram stories, it's actually a longer photo and it fits your Instagram stories a lot better. You're not squishing in and cropping when you post to Instagram stories. So let's go up to file, export. Of course, you're just gonna pick where you want your file to go. I'm gonna go photos. There's the civic type R. We're gonna go edits, civic interior. So you'll notice here, guys, I'm actually only exporting at 1800K. I don't find that I need to export at high resolution, especially if I'm just posting to Instagram. And then my image sizing, my resolution is 300 pixels per inch. I don't mess with anything else. And then we just hit export and we're good to go. Check out my Lightroom presets down below. I've got a ton of them and I've got some really cool new ones coming out very, very soon. And if you've made it this far, I think that it's time that we do another edit kind of challenge thing. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is submit some photos and use this exact file format. If you do not, I probably will not use your photos. So I'm gonna ask you guys to submit one photo, your best, your favorite, using this into the Dropbox or the Google Drive down below. Uh, and then I'm gonna edit your guys' photos using my brand new presets. So, 
feel free to hop into that and it's gonna be a lot of fun editing your photos. I'm really excited to get into that. So there you have it guys. That is how I edit my photos and my interior photos. I hope that you guys learned something from this. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you're enjoying Lightroom content, car photography, car, anything in cameras is kind of what I do. So if you're into that stuff, feel free to subscribe and come check me out on Instagram at the car creative. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying building the community there for you guys. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.